But uh, my first priority is to get this thing solidified and get forges running inside this base. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What's up, zombie slayers? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my 7 Days to Die Alpha 16 Hype Train Let's Play. Last video, we looted the movie theater. We got quite a lot of high-priced items at the movie theater. So today, we are actually going to go to the trader. We're going to sell a bunch of stuff at the trader, but uh, not right now because it is still nighttime. So I think we're going to do some building now. Um, for those of you who don't know, the trader's not open at night. Just you know, I figured that was... Pretty much well known, but who knows? Maybe people don't know that. Um, you know what? I'm going to need another axe, but I do not want to wait for this axe to be made. So I'm just going to go ahead and repair that there. By the way, this is the steel shovel. I got off Big Bertha in between videos. I am also repairing everything. Uh, you want to repair stuff before you sell it. So this is a lot of the stuff I'm going to be selling, and it's all repaired. We got some food. We got some drink. I think it's time to go. Uh, right here, I am cooking in a bunch of raw iron. Right here, I'm cooking in a bunch of stone for a cement. I'm also going to have to go for sand at some point. So, we'll see. Quick look at my chest. I don't know. I might have just done this, but just in case, get a quick look at the chests. And uh, we're going to be doing some nighttime building while we wait for morning. How does that sound? That sounds good. Okay, good. If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. So, that whole uncage the like button thing is a new thing. So, I was reading it off the uh, my notepad. Um, that's why I was walking into the wall. <laughs> Just wanted you to know that. I'm not drunk. I promise. Uh, speaking of being drunk, you guys told me that the drinks do stack. I can, I can stack some of the drinks. I can stack coffee and grain alcohol or coffee or whatever and beer. Someone said if you drink two grain alcohol, it, it gives you all the stamina you're ever going to need. So I think we're going to try that next time we go out for boulders. Should be pretty fun. Should make the boulder hunting a little bit more, um, palatable. All right, so we're going to go right here, and I want this to be lit up. So what we're going to do is we're going to light this up. That might be too much light there. I'm not really sure. We're just going to kind of have to see. I'd rather have too much light than not enough. That might be, that might be like, obnoxiously bright, actually. Um, let's, uh, let's just turn this off. I did, bring, uh, I did bring a bunch of torches. So we'll just put some torches around. All right. As a matter of fact, um, why don't we just put some torches right here? There we go. Some torches right there. By the way, um, I do have the FPS uh, thingy up because I wanted to uh, see what my FPS is doing. Um, because of my lag issues, I uh, I actually uninstalled or reinstalled the game. Um, by the way, these uh, these torch things are not permanent. Uh, they're just for the building purposes. I will take them down eventually. I think that should be pretty good. Let's turn this off so we can get an idea of how well these are working pretty good um but yeah i mean i've been having some freezing issues i'm not really sure so there's two things that's going on with this freezing issues you know every once in a while you'll see a little bit of a freeze um in my game and i don't think it's happening while i'm playing i think it's only in the um the re the not rendering process but the recording process so i'm thinking it's a problem with seven days to die in obs not getting along properly um but who knows maybe i am lagging and i just don't realize it and, you know, because sometimes when, it, when I lag, if it's a really quick lag, I just kind of forget about it. You know, I just kind of, like, move on. Because, um, you know, I'm a PC gamer. I'm kind of used to lag, so. I'm not really sure. But I did a complete reinstall. Um, there's not much different I can do with OBS. It's definitely a problem with 7 Days to Die in OBS because I record a lot of other games and I'm not having any issues with those other games. So I'm going to keep the FPS counter up there for a little bit. I honestly really don't like the FPS counter up. I feel like it's a little bit, um, I don't know. Uh, just it kind of aggravates me a little bit, so I won't do it all the time, but I'm gonna do it for the oh Boy, but I'm gonna do it for the next couple videos. So all right you come to Papa That's right That's what you get. Oh Look at that level 29 feeling fine at 29 so I do not like being in my chest uh, here because It's a little scary because if a zombie jumps on you it could get bad um, but I really don't have much of a choice. We got to put down these dart traps. Um, so I think that's the next thing we'll do is put down some dart traps. So let's do that now. And the dart traps, for anyone who knows this build, are going up here. And we're just going to put them right here. So we got we to gotta do the... Um, we should probably do this from underneath. Um, <clears throat> because you want to make sure they're facing the right way. Alright, so let's go right here. And there's a dart trap. And I'm going to leave the light on because I think it's a little better with the light on. And, um, you just gotta make it facing down. There we go. Uh, come on. Okay, that's good. Okay. Dart traps are now facing down. At least I hope that's the way they're facing down. 
I mean, it looks like we would shoot darts from, so... Uh, I've only used the dart traps once, so and I've not used them in a, in a while, so... Um, yeah, alright, that looks pretty good. Okay. I hope I put those down right. I'm pretty sure I did. I should have made the pressure plates while I was back at base as well, but uh, that is A-OK. -okay. Um, okay, so how far did we come out on this? We came out five, right? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. You remember how I said I was, I was thinking about putting spikes on top of the spikes facing up? Uh, I've decided not to do that, and the reason I've decided not to do that is because um, it's really annoying when the zombies' heads get caught in the spikes, and I can't, I can't hit him in the head. So one of the main reasons this defense is good is because that will not happen. Um, so if I put spikes on top, it'll double up the spikes. But at the same time, zombies' heads will be in spikes. And I just, I just, I just don't like that very much. I mean, I don't think any of us do, right? All right, so we're gonna come out five. This is already out five, right? So one, two, three, four, five, and then this is the turn. So let's go ahead and grab our. Rebar frames. I made I made proper rebar frames, guys. So that is really nice. Um, all right. So that's looking good. A lot of you guys were asking me if I was going to replace the dirt underneath. I am 100% going to replace the dirt underneath. It's just not a big priority right now. Um, I'm eventually going to do it. But uh, my first priority is to get this thing solidified and get forges running inside this base. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right. This is not good. Ugh. No, no, I'm dead. I should have ran. What the hell? Why didn't I run? Son of a bitch. That's it. I'm out of here. I'm out. Peace. I should not have played around. I got to think of my game stage, people. Later, Gator. So that's why you don't want to build at night or be out at night. <laughs> um, maybe I could lead him back to my base. Now, I have no way of getting, I have no way of getting up on that um, tower easily. Oh, man. I got to make some armor, guys. That was scary. That was really freaking scary. All right. Now, I don't know what to do because, like, that was scary and I really don't want to die. I'm, I'm seriously majorly concerned about my game stage. Um, I mean, I don't mind dying. I, I really don't care. I think I proved that last season. But I want to have a good game stage. So, ah, uh, boy, I really wanted to build during the night, man. All right, guys. I, I I'm not going back there. I'm not gonna get. I'm not gonna get myself killed. I might go back there and check it out in between videos during the night. If I if I do find the zombies aren't there and I decide to build, I will be back. If not, I will see you in the morning. Okay, guys. I had some work to do up here, so I actually decided to stay here. Um, I wanted to make a generator bank, and I also took apart all of the electrical items in this building. Um, you know, all the appliances, stuff like that. I didn't do the toilets because I don't think the toilets give you much. Just maybe some pipes or something, but. I didn't do the toilets. There was a screamer down here the whole night, too. Um, so I'm just going to get out of here, go back and start building. Um, probably around 6 a.m. or whenever I remember. <laughs> uh, we will head over to the trader. I need steel. Um, I want steel from the trader because... That's weird. Guy's laying down. Um, the reason I want steel from the trader is because I want to I make a, um, a steel shovel. Uh, and the reason I need a steel shovel is because I need to go digging. I need to do a lot of digging. Uh, I need sand and I need clay. And yes, this, you do run out of uh, you do run out of uh, stamina using the steel sh using the steel items. I get that, but man, you get a lot of stuff back. You get a lot of stuff for it, so I think it's worth it. All right, so let's kill these guys. Let's get rid of Big Bertha here. Man, this zombie's really smack smack me in the face, man. I need to get some. Uh... You know what I need to get? I need to. That's an interesting build. I didn't know there was a brick a brick wall back here. Oh, well. Um, on that uh, pr uh, prefab. I didn't know there was a brick wall. Anyway, yeah, I need to get some armor going. Uh, and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be I'm gonna be making the only armor I can, which is that scrap armor. And unfortunately for me, that scrap armor does indeed take um, uh, duct tape. So I'm going to need some glue. Uh, I, mean, I mean, I have a pretty decent amount of duct tape already, but I still need some glue. Um, so I might, I might cook some glue while I'm back at the trader. I'm not really sure. We're going to have to see how that goes. Okay. All right, let's get to work. What are you looking at? Oh, all right. That, so that was laggy for real. That was the game. So that was interesting. You, the cool thing is now when I lag, guys, you can see the frames. So you can maybe make a... I can make some better decisions. But um, yeah, this game's gotten pretty freaking laggy, man. And this is a fresh install. So it's not a fresh world, though. And this world was made on 6, and this is 6.1. But god damn it, I really do not want to start over again. <laughs> start over way too much an experimental for my taste. All right, so let's go ahead and cut up these bodies for more bones. Uh, we're going to need a lot of bones. Uh, the thing is, I can either cook the bones at my base and use double the amount of bones 
Or I can go to the trader and just kind of hang around the trader while my bones are cooking. I don't want to leave it. I don't want to leave stuff in the trader overnight because I don't know how that works and I really don't want to lose my stuff. But I think if I like start cooking some bones in the trader and leave it overnight, I'll probably be okay. Come back the next day and it'll be done. Because even though I can't go in the trader anymore, I don't think that means that like I will lose everything that's in there. But I don't know for sure. And I really don't want to lose my stuff. So I don't. Oh, there we go. So it seems like this spot right here is a bit of a problem. That's interesting. <laughs> Alright, let's keep let's continue killing some zombies. Oh, there goes your arm. Oh. You're dead. You're dead! Okay, there we go. Alright, so we got some honey, so in case we get it infected, that will be wonderful. Uh, well, it wouldn't be wonderful that I got infected. It'd be wonderful that I could get rid of it. Alright, so one more time. Okay. There we go. Upgrade this. Okay. And then what we'll do is we will grab... I made some more concrete poles uh, during the night. So how about we copy rotation? And just for the first part of this build... I'm, son of a bitch. Just for the first part of this build, I'm only going to make the walls three high. So it should be okay. I got to get rid of that before it um, before it dries. If the, Right now it's at 1,500 hit points. If it dries, it'll be a 3,000. So <laughs> double the hit points. Not good, right? Come on, de destroy already, you son of a biscuit. All right, so I need a good sh I need a good shovel. Well, the shovel I have now will be okay for my purposes here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to punch out this grass. And then we're going to go ahead and we got to put spikes around this entire thing. Um, we could we could just put one row of spikes for now and do the other row later. Um, I basically, my idea is to, get, to just do as little as possible to get this thing as ready as early as possible. Because, again, I want to move my forges in here. And I'm going to have, like, you know two to four forges i'm not really sure how many um at the moment but i'm gonna have a lot of forges in here so um i want to move them in here as soon as possible so that's the idea of this and again i will be getting rid of the dirt i don't know if i got interrupted by a zombie attack but the dirt underneath the poles will be gone i will get rid of it and uh put some reinforced concrete underneath there but that'll be for later um i'm not gonna be spending horde night here I, I will not be here for day 14 i can i can guarantee that uh, all right, logs, and let's copy rotation. There we go. And, all right, one set of logs will be good for screamer hordes. And that's all I need this to be good for for now. Okay, so we're going to come along. Oh, uh, we're gonna, yeah, we're going to come along here. Now we need to decide, is this going to be a 15 by 15? I don't see any reason not to. Um, let, me, let me kill this zombie, and then I will figure out how I want to do this. Okay, it's not going to be less than 15. Yeah, I don't want it to be less than 15. Maybe it could be less than 15. We'll see. Let me figure it out. All right, screw it. 15 by 15 it is. I am uh, perfectly okay with that. Oh, look at this guy just jumped off a roof. How's your legs feeling, bro? My goodness. You die now. Yeah, nice, nice swinging when you're on the ground. Jackass. I'll actually take that paper. Thank you. And um, let's just drop some stuff off in here that we're not going to need right now. Right this second. That looks pretty good. All right, so let's do a little more building, and then we're going to head on out to the trader. Okay. So I'm going to put this on the bottom part the whole way around first. And it's got to be on the outside. Uh, on face. There we go. Okay, and let's just bring this all the way through. Man, this is... um. Hmm. Uh, how about on face on the ground? No, no, on face on the ground. That might be a better way to do it. No, it's definitely not a better way to do it on face on the ground. <sighs> I'm just going to do it like this because it's a little bit trickier to do it the other way. There we go. Now all I have to do is look at the ground and it will place it properly. I could have just done copy rotation. I don't know what I was thinking. Whatever. All right. That's okay. It's okay. Let's do this. There we go. And let's put the corner piece right here. All right. And uh, upgrade that as well. So that would be on face here? On face on the ground? No, on face on the side. That's right. Yeah, I think those um, those lag spikes are actually... I am feeling them. I just ignore them. Like, I've gotten used to them, I guess. Not really sure. Okay. So that's good right there. So let's go on the ground for the rest of the way. Over this way. And I think we're going to punch out some grass because I don't want to misplace these. All right, guys, I think we have this, uh, I think we have this place, uh, lined out. 
pretty, yeah, plenty of room. Plenty of room in here. I could put a little um, walkway going up. I'm not sure. I won't put a walkway. I'll do a ladder. There's no point in putting a walkway because then if zombies break in, they can get up there, um, which would suck. All right, so uh, here we go. Uh, let's place down some more stuff and then let's head on out to the trader. All right, so we have now it's easy because all we have to do is copy rotation. See? See how much easier that is? Still got to be careful. You got to go a little slow. You don't want to put it in the wrong spot. There we go. Actually, this thing might be uh, ready for... Um, not, a, not Horde Knight, but... This thing might be ready for Screamer Hordes sooner than I thought. Uh, all I have to do is get three layers of this up. And then get the spikes all the way around it. Uh, and then we're ready to rock. So... That'll be really, really sweet. Okay. There we go. Looking good. Okay. So then we'll have is, after this, we'll have a tower over here. A tower on, on this corner. A tower on that corner. A tower on that corner. We'll have um, all kinds of contraptions going along. Um, I'm, I'm probably going to tear down this building here. It's going to kind of be in the way. Uh, I'll probably do it on stream. Maybe I'll do this on stream. I want to loot the building, take everything apart, and then tear it down. Uh, maybe even tear it down with... Uh, how hard would this be to tear down, actually? I mean, I can always do it on stream. I don't mind... Do oh, God, that's really tough. Uh, although this is a pretty bad pickaxe. The thing is, I don't mind doing stuff like that on stream. Because um, in, a vi in a YouTube video, it's just, you know, uh, incredibly boring. And, you know, just... Well, just incredibly boring. Uh, but the thing is, if you do it in a stream, you can talk to your stream. And uh, uh, interaction with your uh, your viewers in a stream is really important. So uh, that's why I, would, I wouldn't mind doing stuff like that. The thing is, uh, I'm going to have a tower probably about right here. And then a tower on that side. And then I'm going to have a big wall of, like, traps coming through here. And uh, I guess it wouldn't be so bad. I probably don't have to tear it down. Maybe I'll tear it down. Maybe I won't. If I do, it'll probably be with TNT. <laughs> Just make it interesting. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm going to do a little bit more work here, then I'm going to gather everything and drive out to the trader, so I'll see you at the trader in a little bit. Alright guys, we're coming out to the trader in the east. Uh, we have a trader south, we have a trader east. I was told we have a trader west as well. I might check that one out as, as well, we'll see. Um, what I'm looking for right now is steel. Any interesting books, but mostly steel. Um, and any high-priced uh, pickaxes, or pickaxes, axes, shovels um, made out of steel would be uh, okay as well. But I'm um, mostly looking for steel. Did I just miss the entrance? Yes. This is the one where I have trouble finding the entrance for some reason. Uh, here we go. There we go. There's the entrance. And they are open for business, people. Let's check it out. Okay. I did bring my bones with me. Um, there are some boulder fields around here. So I Okay, so this is destroyed, so it doesn't matter. Um, we should also probably pick some of those blueberries. Let's just pick the blueberries. Uh, blueberry pie is actually a really nice thing to, um, to make for uh, sustenance. So, and I'm going to put some blueberries down on my, on my farm, and I'm, I'm going to make the rest of the blueberry pie. Um, at least I think it is. At last I checked it was. Might have to look at it again. We'll, we'll see. We'll see about that. All right. What's up, buddy? Here I am. If you break it, you buy it. All right. If I break it, I buy it. Got it. All right. So, 124 four ninety nine for a suit jacket. Very nice. Um, six fifteen for a puffer jacket. Five oh nine for a puffer jacket. Um, almost 600 for a leather duster. I did not repair the shoes. Eh, whatever. Um, let's go ahead and sell the money. Um, we should be able to sell 218 without an issue. Um, schematic, schematic. Uh, certain schematics are, you know, 150. Like, eh, I guess it's worth it. I guess it's worth carrying it around. Uh, we should probably take the pistol apart. Oh, let's go ahead and take the pistol me, apart. Uh, Anytime you're going to well, sell a pistol, do the assemble thing. You don't actually, actually take it apart, just assemble. And then that way you get the bullets out of it before you Put sell it. Put away your weapon unless you'd like to die. Oh, whatever. You're, you're all talk. All right. I'm going to sell the steel shovel because I don't want a steel shovel that, that week. Somebody said sell jars. A lot of jars. Um, 603 for 164 jars? Wow. Maybe jars is a way to make money. I need these jars. But still, um, hmm, that's pretty interesting. I will have to remember that. Let's go ahead and sell the leather. Sell all the leather? Yes. There we go. All right, there we go. I think that's everything I wanted to sell. Let's see what this guy's got. All right, under science. Oh, he's got a wiring tool. Um, well, that's gonna. This right here is gonna save me nine steel. So yes, I will buy your wiring tool. I was actually gonna get that. Um, so that that's a good buy right there. Um, he's got some more machete blades. 
Um, I think I'll buy a machete blade. Um, we'll hold off until the last minute, but I will probably buy a machete blade. Shotgun's too expensive. I can't even afford it. Um, so we will not worry about that. I don't care about any of that stuff. Um, steel shovel, I just sold him. Uh, resources, springs, duct tape. Duct tape wouldn't be bad. Um, how much do you want for all that duct tape? Eh, it's kind of expensive for nine duct tape. I can make my own damn duct tape. Um, coal. Oh boy, I had the hiccups. Uh, headlights. I'm, I'm having trouble getting headlights, but those are expensive. I'm not buying those. Um, blade traps. Wow, that's pretty cheap for a blade trap, isn't it? I can't even make these yet. I can't even make... Th Honestly, I am not going to be using these, though, for another 10 days. So, um, I'm not going to buy them. That's a, that's, a, that's a good buy, though. It's a good buy. I can't make them. And uh, they're really good, but I'm not going to be using them for a while. So, I am not going to buy them. All right. Let's look at some armor. I think I'm going to buy my armor or maybe not is that clothing or armor is clothing and armor the same thing i don't know this stuff all sucks who cares uh chemicals don't care about that all books um yeah i already sold him all these okay and let's look at a secret stash um uh, iron gloves might not be bad it's pretty expensive for a pretty shitty item though um wow he really doesn't have a lot man you don't have a lot well let's hurry up and get out of here because we could check the other um traders before we uh, do anything else. Let's buy one machete blade. Alright, let's go check the other traders. Thanks, you buddy. suck, dude. You got nothing. You got nothing for me, jackass. Alright, so where's the other trader? So there was one to the west I haven't found yet. Um, but I do know the one in the south. Should we look for the one in the west? Or should we just go to the one in the south? I think I'm going to go to the one that's known. Just because it's a guaranteed thing. And I really need some steel. And that, um, honestly, that wiring tool was a great find. Because, like I said, that basic it's basically like buying 9 steel for 700, for 700 dukes. That's a great deal. All right, guys. Apparently, when I left here last time, I left this door open. <laughs> Sucks to be you, Trader, whatever your name is. What is this, Trader Wrecked? I don't even know. What's your What's your name? Trader Bob. All right, Trader Bob. Let's see what you got, buddy. Um, your their next restock will be on day thirteen. All right, let's see what you got. So he's got some parts, which is really nice. But again, I can get that myself. I don't really care much about that. Um, decor. Eh, meh, not much there. Weapons, mm, meh, I mean, eh, eh. Oh, what was the first thing? Resources, yeah. I need to look through this a little bit more carefully. I mean, I could always just search for steel, but I like to look through his stuff. Um, night vision goggles are pretty cool. Oh, books, mini bikes for dumb shits. I, I might have sold that to him, actually. I think I did. Yeah, I sold him all this stuff. Um... Okay, okay, known, okay. Tools, meh. Uh, your stuff sucks. I think I need this one. Yeah, I need that one, but I'm not going to buy it. Um, leg armor might not be a bad purchase. Uh, this is the leg armor I didn't get last time, right? You know what, I'm going to hold off. That leg armor is really good, but I really need to hold off for some steel. Um, are you sure you've been restocked? Like, I don't know, you man. Your restock doesn't look very now. good. All right, I'm going to go look for the uh, trader in the west. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to look for too long. I'm going to see if I can find him, but uh, we'll see. We'll see how things go. I'd like to, I'm, I'm, you know, when I read my comments, like a lot of times, like my comments get kind of like just all blend together and I'm not sure what people are saying. Sometimes I miss stuff, but I could have swore someone said there was a trader to the west. So I'm going to go check that out and see if I can find him. Look at this, guys. I found another town looking for a trader. Let's check out this town really quick. Why not? See what the dealio is. What is this building? This is a building that looks pretty interesting. What is this? Is that the cracker book? Oh my god, another cracker book. Oh my goodness. Uh, we got a military thing over there. We got a junkyard. We got a shaka messiah, popping pills. Uh, what else we got here? This looks like a pretty decent town too. Yeah, I mean it's not my town, but you know, it's pretty, pretty nice little town. It's, it's quaint. <laughs> Oh, boy. All right. Well, let's take a look at the map really quick. I came up through here through a burnt biome. Um, I think we want to come back over here and then probably just head back to town. I'll do a little bit of exploring to round off this video. Um, pretty cool town, you know. Something. Got some stuff in it. That's for sure. The Shaka Masai is good. I want to loot the uh, Shaka Masai and everything, but I got to... Uh, I got to get my quality Joe on. You know what I'm saying? As a matter of fact, let's see if we can take quality Joe. I haven't looked in a while. 
Um, Quality Joe. Nope, we are two points away from, with, from being able to take Quality Joe. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, well, let's look up here and see what we got. Uh, apparently, I'm starving and hungry. So, uh, starving and hungry, huh? Well, okay, yeah, th that I said that. Oh, boy, we're going to have to do some cooking when we get home. I guess this wasn't a total waste because we did get the machete blade. Um, how close are we to 30? I think at level 30, don't we get another weapon smithing? So, yeah, I'll make another machete blade at 30. That will be uh, just fine. There's another trader. Okay. So there's a trader in the north. Um, I went to the I went to the west, but it was like all burnt by them, and I was just like, eh, you know, um, screw this uh, because this sucks. Maybe when oh this this is the one to the west. It's kind of like northwest. Okay. Well, let's check out what this guy got and let's uh, call it a video. Um, I hope he has some steel. I'm kind of surprised I didn't find any steel on either of those traders. I'm not sure um, what the deal is with that. Maybe they took steel off of them. I haven't seen a steel item since uh, since last season when I got a steel pick on day one. Uh, so they might have just removed them, which would be the obvious choice if uh, you have problems with a balance like that. All right, let's come on in here. Is this thing working? It is. Um, uh, yeah, okay, glue. Oh, you know what? I didn't bring any water. I can't do the glue thing. What am I thinking? Whatever. Not a big deal. What's up, Trader Joel? All right. Uh, so this guy, 37 steel. Holy moly. Okay. Well, you know, that's going to come in handy. Um, I probably can't afford it all, but I'm going to afford a lot of it. I probably won't buy anything else, but let's just see what he's got just to, you know, see what we can see. All right. This guy's got a lot of good stuff. Damn. Uh, this ammo, right? No, this is weapons and ammo. Um, okay. So I don't care about any of that stuff. Oh, he's probably going to have some armor that I'm going to want to buy. Did they take out the uh, the bandit stuff? You know what? I think you might have to put points into your um, your secret stash or whatever to get the good stuff from now on. Um, which is fine. I am perfectly okay with that. Alright, tools and traps. Yep, I'm not seeing any steel tools anymore, guys. Uh, okay, don't really care about... Oh, that is nice. I can't afford it because I'm going to get a lot of steel, but it's still nice. Okay, well, they're, they're looking at all that stuff was a total waste. Uh, 37, I can buy it all. Beautiful. 37 steel, baby. What up? Safe Thank you very travel. much, Joel. Have a good one, brah. Have a good one. Wow, that is awesome. Okay, guys. Well, uh, the trader thing was really good. We got the base going, going on. Um, I, I want to get that. Honestly, over the next video or two, I'd really like to get that base 100% um, ready to rock. I would really like to move those forges in there. Um, pretty soon and really get some forges going on so that is going to be um, what i'm going to be looking for next and i also want to get some more looting videos and i'd really like to get those last two points of scavenging and get that quality joe um that would be really nice and uh yeah so those are going to be my uh my goals all right guys um thank you very much for watching i'm going to call this one here i will see you next time and until then take it easy